a Sunday. Got the money on my mind on a Monday. I like a pretty girl on Tuesday. I know more vibes with the guys on a Wednesday. Until the next day, I'm on a late till Friday. I'm on never catch a sleep, me my reach. 3.706, me can't sleep. Where them never ever reach. Never ever reach. I'm coming with the game like a hunter. Never surrender. Carry on my top, pack up your stuff. Don't move me then that. My no my master. Working the night and day. Until my shots, oh. Your vibes with the Marco, sir. I say why you're in a boat. I say when you're in a boat, I want to. Don't take it personal, man. No be gentleman. I'm going international. This thing no be personal. Don't take it personal, man. No be gentleman. I'm going international. It's a party, big link anytime with the jay, yeah. boy don't violate, all about consumer, the body shady bada bada, in the night she be working for the mula, she love a bad man with the biggie quarter water, big man team with the sika, he asks her why, she no be messing with the other guys, I see you up a day, I see you up a fry, all with her friends and living life, she want to be my wife, miss you know me a guy, so all I know I am a lie, money on my mind and on the front right, stuck up the block and live life, live life. Don't take it personal, man. No be gentleman. I'm going international. This thing no be personal. Don't take it personal, man. No be gentleman. I'm going international. On a Sunday, got the money on my mind on a Monday. I like a pretty girl on Tuesday. I know more vibes with the guys on a Wednesday. Until the next day, I'm on a late till Friday. I'm on never catch a sleep, me my reach. 3.706, me can't sleep. Where them never ever reach. Never ever reach. I'm coming with the game like a hunter. Never surrender. Carry on my top, pack up your stuff. Don't move me then that. My no my matter. Working the night and day. Until my shots, oh. Your vibes with the Marco, sir. I say why you're in a so when you want to want to, but I want to, yeah. This thing no be personal, don't take it personal. Man no be gentleman, I'm going international. This thing no be personal, don't take it personal. Man no be gentleman, I'm going international. It's a party, big link anytime with the jay, boy don't violate, all about one summer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode right here on Motherland Gaming Television. My name is Isaac Einstein, and we are ready to go. This is GPL Season 2, Match Day 12 in total. We are about to get into the streams. I've got the boys locked and loaded in the lobby. I've got Slimo as well locked 
in the lobby ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stream smash the like button and subscribe to the channel slimo 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 how are you doing buddy i'm good i'm good super excited to be here um after some immense and then intense champions league drama what what better way to to kind of crown the day of done with the Ghana Pro Clubs League. So yeah, uh, I'm highly favoured. I'm blessed to be here and we hope for some incredible action to top off the Champions League. We definitely do hope for some wonderful games about to begin. Let's get the boys from today. We're going to be doing Boca Juniors versus SV3. Slimo Boca Juniors, as we do know, are one of the best teams in the league. If not, the league table actually suggests that they seem to be in the top position. What do you think about Boca Juniors um, in, in totality? How they play this particular season? Mm. I think they've been very impressive. Start of the season, the eyes were not on them like that. But I think when the season progressed, we saw how good they were. They just kind of got into their groove, and since then, they've never looked back. Funny enough, Bone Squad in second place are the only team who haven't lost a single game. And okay, possibly because they've only played eight matches and the rest of them have played ten. But yeah, that's how that's how it's working out. The Baboka Juniors have been impressive so far. They lead uh the, the table up with 22 points, seven wins, one draw, just two losses, goal difference of a plus eight. They are uh one of the leading teams when it comes to goal score. So we we expected some goals today. I think Boca Juniors have been impressive. So that's a look at the league table for the Ghana Pro Clubs League. Reminder that we're just done with season one a week ago and we're heading straight into season two. So Bone Squad will come in second with just those eight games played with 18 points. So they've got also a potential Bone Squad to leapfrog Boca Juniors at the top of the table. But Boca Juniors are looking uh, to keep the momentum going and hopefully they can't stay on top. Coming in third place are Nukpa Warriors who kind of crept their way at... Uh, to the top three also there on 17 points ground up side make the top four with 16 they are also um in line with bond squad as they've only also only played the eight games so far they also have an opportunity to crack the top three favela footy the impressive favela footy come in in fifth place with 14 sp3 sp3 GHO, Star Pounds FC, Atletico FC are the few teams that have played 11 games so far. SP3 currently on 13 points, Club Ultimate on 13, GHO Star 11, Pounds FC. Pounds FC were incredible. Um, last, last, I think last few days, we saw them in action. They did walk the talk. And then now they've leapfrogged Inter Atletico to come into ninth place at uh, Inter Atletico at the bottom of the table. So it's definitely shaping up. Uh, promises to be an incredible season to book up juniors have been very very good to watch they have definitely been very good to watch and let's get the boys inside as we try and interview them hello guys can you hear us yeah yeah we can nice one nice one how are you guys doing we're good oh yeah we're doing great Great, great. Um, so, Boca Genius, tell us, you guys have been on the top of the table. How does it feel to to be the ones being chased? <laughs> um, it's it's really it's really I don't know how to say. Let's say it feels like everyone is aiming for your spot, so you don't have to make a mistake. You don't have the chance to just lose your guard because anyone that comes up will just take your spot from you that's how it feels like mm, yeah it definitely feels that way indeed that you guys have played fantastically well in the season so far what seems to be that thing that seems to keep you guys together and grounded in playing very very good football um okay it all comes down to, to being composed in the front of goal to keep the ball you know, for Boca Juniors, our prized possession is um, keeping the ball and then keeping composure, maintaining the, um, let's say, the tempo we start the game with. That's all we do. 
Mm, that's all you do. SP3. I mean, you listening to the the top of the league, team, <laughs> the top of the league team. What can you guys do to topple them off? Uh, all I can say is we do our best. All you I mean, can say is we're going to do our best. <laughs> yes, it's been a really Don't tough one. Don't that, Charlie. Mm. Slime will take it over, buddy. Yeah, so um, let, me, let me start with um, our man from SP3 because in our last featured game with you guys, it was against Pals FC and we know how it, it went down. They did walk the talk, but you guys uh, had a problem there, loss of concentration. Has there been any practice sessions? Has there been any talk to with the players to kind of rectify those mistakes and then not repeat them today? Because you are going up against the league leaders and if you lose concentration, it might not look good today. Yeah, there's been a few practices. Yeah, after the first thing, we've been practicing, we try to share, but then, uh, I mean, we are going to see how this is going to be. We've, we've faced Boca before, so we are going to see if things are going to be different. Mm. <laughs> I like the confidence. You have to have that when you're going up against the league leaders. Let me go to my man from Boca Juniors. And like Isaac said earlier, you guys have got a target on your back. So definitely it's going to be a difficult one. And you being the one who is being chased. And mind you, you guys have already played 10 games. The one behind you has just played eight games. So you need to keep putting the pressure on. When you're playing games like the ones you're about to play against SP3, who are kind of um who've dipped in form a bit, is there a conversation like okay this match is possibly going to be an easier one compared to the rest of so you guys go at games with the same intensity oh i think we can't hear as oh, uh, uh, can you hear me now yes sir yeah 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 okay yeah as you said at the latter part of um the interview we go to every game with the same intensity because the least um, mistake you do, you will be overtaken. So we have to maintain the composure, um, treat every game like our best, like a cup final, and then that's what keeps us going. Mm, that is very, very key. Well, good luck to both of the teams. Uh, give us the showdown because so far, season two has already been fired. We saw what season one, but and all the best to both of you guys. We hope for uh, the best of uh, the matchup with you guys. SP3, I'm kind of rooting for you a bit because you lost that game on the feature broadcast a bit against Boca Juniors, but coming up against Pals FC, but coming up against Boca Juniors. I know it's not going to be easy. So, yeah, let's get into the matchups. <laughs> all right, let's get into the matchups. Thank you guys for joining us and make yourself available after the games for a post-match interview thank you all right slime well, what's the vibe you're getting for this game it looks like it's gonna be mm, a very that, tough game in it mm, um the, the vibe is calm especially from sp3 because last time they were on the featured broadcast they kind of fumbled the bag a bit um pounds fc who were the team that were kind of the underdogs going into that game kind of just shocked them and they played extremely well you could tell that sp3 weren't ready that's why i did ask him the question about concentration and he said they've had um talk sessions they've had practice sessions to kind of rectify that mistake so it's, it's all about us seeing if they've got that concentration from start to finish because playing against the league leaders well you've got to be concentrated and speaking to Boca juniors the guy from Boca juniors you could tell that they know that behind them there's a lot of fire and they've got to keep their foot on the gas and we'll find out very soon on the virtual pitch who can do the talking on the pitch and i can't wait for it to get started I definitely cannot wait to get excited uh, started as well. And I think the last game that you missed, Limo, we had an incredible, probably mm. a goal of the season moment. And I want to take mm. this opportunity uh, to show you how that goal happened. And it was Pounds FC versus GH All Star. It was a Ganacho esque kind of goal. Hey. Let's check out that goal, guys. <laughs> All right, all right. That's why, that's why it's a surprise to me because I, I haven't had the time to check it out. Okay, okay. I'm seeing a lot of bodies in attack. Oh, come on, from there. That's outrageous. Wow. What a goal that was. What a indeed. way to start season two. That was wow. an incredible goal. The way we started, look at the way they moved the ball, you know. 
in places from just, side to side making, know, making the pitch as that. big as possible creating the angle but no the the audacity to try that move from way outside like that oh. nah that's just incredible they broke up I salute you, my brother. Hey, ACG, you put mafia on me. But yeah, you guys made me miss out on this goal. But I think this goal, possibly goal of season two, even though we haven't even reached halfway of season two. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, the the Pounds FC guys have they have a name for their stadium. I've forgotten the name, but they have some <laughs> name for their stadium. Mm. Like anybody that comes into that stadium, no matter who you are, just make sure you're gonna get one hell of a game. Just like they call it the Anfield or, or, or of the GPL season. Because anybody that mm-hmm. comes in there is gonna they're gonna make sure that they give them one hell of a game. And Pounds FC have been fantastic so far. They seem to be really gunning for anybody yeah, that the, actually the, comes. The bounce close. back is real. The bounce back is real. <laughs> very, very real. And uh, I'm so excited to see what they can possibly bring this season around. So uh, the stream links are out. We're gonna get ready into the streams, ladies and gentlemen. Take a quick break, and when we come back, it's going to be um Boca Juniors versus SP3 Is it? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought I was going to interrupt that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The games are about to begin. It is going to be SP3 um, being the away team and um, Boca Juniors being the home team. I mean, as good as Boca Junior is, they are absolutely deadly at their home. <laughs> it's going to be one hell of a game for SP3. They're going to have to try and maybe defend and possibly go on a counter. What kind of tactic can they employ here, Slimo? going up against a team that's free flow and we and we did hear from the representative from boca juniors he said that they want to prioritize their play style on keeping the ball so going up against a team that's going to keep the ball so so much that's where the composer has to come and we kind of throw it out there composer 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 and sometimes it's a, a little bit cliche but that's that's the that's the truth if you are composed you can keep your shape majority of the time and then uh, prevent it from creating prevent them from creating a lot of spaces they will definitely create space but the rate at which they create the space if they are creating their spaces too often you are going to be punished because too much pressure on the defense we know that you can falter so all the advice i've got for sp3 is limit the the, the number of ways in which they can create the space and i'm sure they'll, they'll find themselves in a very good position but coming up against a team that scores loads and loads of goals well hmm, they have their work cut out for them today absolutely do have their workouts out for them and hopefully they give us one hell of a good game <laughs> let's get into it so the boys are warming up 
If you're just joining us, this is Marvelland Gaming Television. My name is Isaac Einstein. And I've got Slimo here with me. We're going to be doing Boca Genius versus SP3. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel because it's about to go down. It is about to go down. And the Ghana Pro Class League match day 12 is on our hands. And we are underway. The big game is underway now. We've got SP3, SP3 taking on the league leaders, Boca Juniors. The league leaders who are at this point flexing their muscles on everybody. They lead the league with 22 points, four points ahead of the team in second place. And you kind of feel like they are the team to beat at this point. But hey, there's still a long way to go in the season. First for us to come in to kind of just uh, test the waters and see how things will be going the league leaders uh just starting things very very early on here well this should be an extremely interesting game as both teams they've had different fortunes in this season of course Boca juniors we've already praised how good they've been sp3 kind of started the season well and then of course when we got to midway it's not looking they're not looking like themselves but that's why in league formats like these we say it's not a sprint it's a marathon and you've got to find a way to get yourself over the hump as that over the top two ball comes and it's uh, going out for offside very uh crucial game of course in how the league standings will look like at the end of today Odin tries a shot from distance big save only letting go well if he's trying to show us what Olele a goal means of course trying to replicate uh the black stars goalkeeper the former black stars goalkeeper of course that's a, a, a proper way to show us what Olele means with that huge save very early on in this game and hopefully it can kind of boost the morale going into this tough tough fixture cobra for the league leaders boca juniors who are already showing us why they're one of the best at it attacking wise they're extremely difficult to handle and they've already had series of attacks so far very early 30 minutes gone and you kind of just feel their presence already banks for sp3 on the 10 zamani get uh, the cross in and we've noticed the parting already for pro clubs action the crosses are so many and you kind of feel like it's because they've worked on that for a very very long time a lot of these attackers are now telepathic uh, they just know when and where to be at the end of those crosses and that's why we are seeing a lot of these crosses come in but one reason why i've been impressed with boca juniors is their diversity with which they could attack if the crosses don't work they're going to go with of course their crisp passing like we did speak to their rep earlier who said they want to prioritize their game on keeping the ball Ajiman for sp3 and well what a star we could have to this one they have a penalty from 12 yards save big saving goal to push that one away well 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 we expected a lot of drama in this game and it started off in the perfect motion big save to keep the score lying at nil nil and now that is going to spark something in this game that is going to bring some life into this game because it did definitely start a little bit though but after that huge save from the goalkeeper you kind of feel like something is going to change here and it could be here jamal with a brilliant two ball to find odin who's got the pace to be everybody what a huge save again time they green but the goalkeeper just got the direction so well got into the area and parried that one away and then SC24, in moments like those, you've got to pick a spot early. If you're caught between two minds in areas like those, you're not able to finish. And he almost backfired for them. Alicia Cross comes in! Another big save, but that time they've been rewarded. As SP3 will open up the scoring. Boca Juniors on one end, missing a penalty, and SP3 taking full advantage of that one getting the momentum in their favor and that's making that one count apologies if i i misled you into thinking that boca juniors were the ones in the white 
there's a uh, kind of a uh, confusion in the but it's sp3 who are up by a goal in 30 minutes of this game well that was a lovely pass that's a very very good pass your ability to spot the run and then find the run the run as well was excellent but Boca Juniors haven't settled and SP3 have taken the lead. And we could just pinpoint and say it's because of the penalty and that's why the morale is down. But as uh, the league leaders and potential champions, you would call them, if we dare call them, you've got to find a way to pick yourselves up. And this is where the leaders on the team will have to start talking in the party. Crunch Pro for SP3. Why Bremen with confidence now? Can he play the two ball? Yes, he can, but Jamal just couldn't get himself back on side. And that could have been the second goal for SP3. That was a glorious opportunity for them. Jamal had a lot of space to just get himself on side. He could kind of blame the midfielder a bit because the pass came too late. Lasso into Jamal again. He's making all these crucial runs. And I'm sure he'd be a tad frustrated that the balls are not coming to him early. Because SP3 could have had great opportunities to double their lead. And as you head into the final five minutes of the game, they are looking not to regret those missed opportunities. Zamani, the pass well deflected, and the goalkeeper will come and parry. That's a shocking save right there. And they kind of give the goal back as Boca Juniors are right back in it. That is not the prettiest way to concede. I know conceding goals are, are, um, are not the best of stuff. But the way and manner in which you concede can just derail the momentum. Because SP3 definitely had the momentum. But the goalkeeper, what was he thinking? Just firing that one into a danger area. And Boca Juniors took full advantage. And they could channel that energy to another goal. Like Jemma loves the goalkeeper. And the goal like clearance comes again. But they are rewarded on the rebound as Fort is able to smash it into the open air. What a turnaround in the first half. And like I said earlier, if you've got the potential to be a champion, if you're a league leader, you've got to pick yourself up. And pick yourself up, Boca Juniors did in the late moments there to turn this game around, leading two goals to one, heading into halftime quick successive goals like that was incredible i mean uh, sp3 literally just gave them a goal but by that keeper parrying the ball down there and so it's somehow they've lost the plot sp3 controlled the game pretty well the whole time but boca juniors just like we said he said in the interview it's all about taking your chances these guys took two chances and boom 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 they are back again in the lead what can sp3 do in the second half to get this going Slime more. I, I haven't too I haven't been too disappointed with how they played. And I think going back to that wouldn't be too bad. A little bit more aggressiveness, of course, you're down by a goal. But they were so dominant with within our uh, 40 minutes of the game. And in the last five minutes, that is where the loss of concentration can come into play again. And it did come into play again. It, it kind of gives me um the game against pounds, those vibes from that game. Because they were comfortable at some point. They relaxed a bit. And Pounds SU were able to take all three points for them. Would that happen again here to me? Well, I had to find out. As Ajima plays a very good ball known. Uh, gets a short blood. But you can tell now the league leaders. are creating chance after chance after chance. They're finding their spaces. And they're breaking SP3 down. The defense not looking as resolute as it was earlier on. Oh, then has a chance to make it 2-2 when it makes it count. That's a way to get your team back in the game. And this game could go any side right now. It feels very, very balanced. The league leader's defense hasn't been as compact as we've known it to be. SP3 have done extremely well to keep breaking them down. And I have been impressed with them. But we've got about 30, around 35 minutes to go. Before end of proceeding, there's a lot of FC24 action to be played. And you kind of feel like the next goal could be very, very significant to where the three points might go. Or if this one is going to be shared one point apiece. Wow. In the midfield, very key for how this uh, Boca Junior side want to operate. Alicia, 
over the top two ball and look at that run from lasso and the pass into oh dead my word that is the most complete goal of the day that is teamwork at its best and could also sp3 they get the lead back but my word what a way to get the lead back that is premium football that is football at its best and you, you kind of felt like nobody was tracking that run and you, you can't blame Boca Juniors' defense because it wasn't just one run. There was a decoy run. In fact, there were two decoy runs before that late run from the attacker to get him open. But the ability of the midfielder to find him was just top-level stuff. And SP3 have their lead back. And here they come again. Same format. Over the top two ball. Lasso. We've seen him make another deep cross coming in. And Odin, he's just been a torn in the flesh of the Boca Junior side all day today. And SP3 regain their lead. Can they hold their nerve? Can they hold the lead going into the last 30 minutes of this game? Remember, they've already given up a lead earlier on in that first half. And they're looking not to repeat those mistakes. Go pass again. Here they come. Surely no big save. That's a save to keep Boca Juniors in this one. When the game is not going well, when your outfield players are not playing well, you rely on the man. He got to save you, but he couldn't save them there. That's the fourth of the day for SP3. And it's much, much deserved. What a game. And what a display they've had for us here today. SP3, they've been everywhere on offense. They've just looked unstoppable at times. And they've deserved all four goals in their favor. Alicia has the option to play the two ball. Just look at the patience from it. Able to just take her time. Cross comes in again. Oh Lasso control. God. Yeah. These are the kind of goals that just makes you lick your lips. The cross comes in. Composer to just knock it down. And just like last week, they said it was like a natural-esque goal. Well, this one can be similar, but from a more close range. Five goals to two, SP3, putting on a show and making a huge statement. And that's what we love from the Ghana Pro Clubs League, honestly. This is where I have to go back to Tree. I'm sorry if you don't understand Tree, but Obia and Obia, nobody's anybody here. And the league leaders are down by five goals to two to SP3. That is what the Ghana Pro Clubs League is all about. Wow. About uh, 15 minutes to go. In a game in which we could see more goals. It's already a seven goals thriller. But it's even open for more. Here come the league leaders again. Looking to maybe get one back. Well, that's a reckless tackle. Very, very reckless tackle. As Crunch Pool is deservedly red carded. And they get a free kick out of this one. In SC24, you got to watch out for the free kicks. Here they come. Boca Juniors, they've got to make this one count. From around uh probably like 22 yards free kick comes Ooh. in and it comes off the crossbar easily sc24 free kicks are so deadly you've got to make them count it's quite unfortunate they weren't able to get a goal from the but that was a promising attempt comes off the crossbar and boca juniors are looking to channel that momentum and get goals and remember that sp3 are now a man down but with about 12 minutes remaining if you're watching in the if you're watching the, the live stream and you're in the chat kindly tell me is this even possible for Boca Juniors to complete the comeback here with about 10 minutes to go they've got the man advantage but they've got to score three goals and just look at how sp3 are keeping the ball they're keeping the ball so so well that they're just running time off the clock and it's looking impossible for Boca Juniors to even think of grabbing a point from this game wow this one has given us everything it's giving us everything it could possibly give us. And that's the kind of game. In fact, the kind of league that a pro class league oh is in. My God. <laughs> and that's the icing on the cake. All right. Oh my God. That seals the deal. That's their signature all over this game. SP3, they've been in the kitchen, and they've kind of burnt the kitchen at this point. They've cooked, they've cooked, they've cooked. Six goals to two. 
What a statement. Wow. It's just wonderful stuff from them. And Boca Juniors, in that first half, they weren't bad. SP3 did dominate, when those last five minutes, the league leaders had their way with them. Oh my God. But remember, it's a 19 minute game, and there could be more here. Jamal just kind of rushed the shot a bit. Probably a borrow would have been uh, the best to kind of go in those situations. But SP3, my goodness, every single time they go in front of goal, they look like they could score. Over the top for known. Maybe Boca Juniors to get a goal back. They do get one back, but at this point, it's just a consolation. It's game set match now. Six goals to three. SP3 down by. In fact, um, disadvantage, of course, with the player being sent off, but they had already done damage. And at that point, you kind of felt like the game was already won. SP3, what a performance here today. Six goals to three, <laughs> nine goals thriller. And you get this at one place and one place only. And look at them going <laughs> with the opponent now. They don't care at this point. They already have their six goals. It's three points in the back for SP3 as they seal the deal and beat Boca Juniors by six goals to four. What a game that was, Slimo. Tell me about it. That was probably one of the greatest games we've seen so far. SP3, the underdogs, absolutely tearing apart. Uh, Boca Juniors, that was a dagger indeed. <laughs> Definitely a big dagger, and it kind of blows the, the whole league wide open. Because if SP3 can do this for the league leaders, I'm sure other teams are watching, like, okay, we can also do that. But in, in, in this game, the only people who wouldn't enjoy this game are people who like um, close games. And close games, I mean, games that do not have a lot of goals, games that are kind of tight in that area. Maybe they, 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 they prefer nil nil games, but in this game, it literally gave us everything. I saw well executed tactics i saw lots of concentration at some point i saw huge saves because the boca juniors goalkeeper made a huge save at some point to kind of keep them in the game but when the matter most sp3 kept creating and creating and creating and they just didn't put it in their mind that they were playing against the league leaders they just kept attacking and they were rewarded they definitely kept attacking and kept they kept getting rewarded and like the game began with i think um boca juniors getting a penalty and then they missed mm. it so they had an opportunity to get into the lead and they fluffed that and it looks like they lost their head they lost all concentration they left their back line so high up the pitch trying to probably play a high line these guys were very good as we very good at crossing the ball and their strikers were absolutely majestic mm. they got into right position dominated. It is incredible. I just cannot wait to have these guys here for the interview. It looked so very comfortable for Boca Juniors, but on the page, it completely turned around. Mm, and that's that's the beauty of football and of course uh, FC as well. It, it, it can literally change at any point because in that first half, they did miss a penalty, like you really said, they lost their heads a bit, and then SPT capitalized on the momentum and got a goal out of it. Then all of a sudden. 40 minutes gone with about five minutes to play. Here yeah, come Boca Juniors getting a goal back and renewed momentum. And SP3 at that point, you kind of felt like they were in, the, in that situation where they played against Pounds FC, lost their heads and lost the game. And they did lose concentration and they lost in that first half by two goals to one. But I'm sure what they said to themselves at halftime is we can't let what happened a few days ago happen again. We have to change something and change something they did. What a second half. I think the best half of, of, of FC action we've seen throughout the whole of the Ghana Pool Class League. Absolutely. And I'm so excited, especially for season two with these teams. It looks like now the teams are getting very comfortable. They're understanding their roles really well. Mm. They, they understand how to play as a team because they played a lot of matches and so you're definitely good seeing a lot of teams having this camaraderie and this very great synergy amongst them and that is quite prevalent especially with sp3 definitely and if, not just sp3 alone i think pounds fc when we're oh, speaking to them no. they were like this was the first time they were playing together and getting more reps in means building chemistry uh, be more telepathic was my word 
they were the definition of telepathy today that is sp3 the crosses coming in and the players just knowing where to be and just at the right time it was just exquisite to watch kudos to sp3 everything they worked on kind of felt like it played out today for poker juniors i'm very disappointed in that second half of course i kind of felt like because they were leading by two goals to one they didn't sit back though it didn't feel like they were sitting back and then just inviting pressure. They were looking to score more goals, and that kind of opened the spaces behind them. And SP3 took every single chance that came their way. And kudos to them for getting all the three points. Kudos to them for getting all the three points indeed. And I just can't wait to get these guys in the interview room to see what you're going to be talking about. I, uh, um, Boca Juniors must be completely disappointed there because they had the lead. They had everything for them, and some way, somehow, they just let it go. Mm. It just ha. <laughs> well, we have we have, ha we have them in the chat room right about now, and <laughs> how how to describe it is it's going to be very difficult for our Boca Juniors guys. But hey, let's hear what they have to say. I can't wait to speak to them, and I'm sure. My man from SP3 must be absolutely delighted. <laughs> absolutely, because, you know, looking at the way things kind of has gone for them, especially, they, they are quite excited because um, everything was went to plan for SP3. Let's get them on here and have a, a great conversation with them. Mm. Hello, guys. Can you hear us? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. What a game of football that was. Let's start with Boca Juniors. Boca Juniors, how are you feeling after that game? Um, I feel we could have done better because, um, as you can see, a lot went on. We went in behind, we came back, and then everything just fell from there everything definitely did feel like it fell from there you had a penalty you had the opportunity to get in the lead and somehow, somehow what was going on especially during that penalty decision um it was uh, what can i say you see he's our penalty taker and then you know players do miss penalty so it's just one of those things and then as we the whole the team as a whole it was just the same um defensive tactics that went wrong and then a complacency to an hour part that led to this huge defeat but then i'm sure we are going to learn from our mistakes mm, definitely sp3 how are you feeling after this majestic win i would say <laughs> sorry it's really fun I mean, the feeling of winning is really good. But yeah, like I said, we, we changed a few things. And uh, the tactics that Boca uh, Juniors are more familiar with, we use them less. less and we came about with something new. That is how come we were able to win. And aside that, we cannot also forget our, uh, our right winger. He was playing the any position and he did really good. The first moral was, was the penalty save. That was really crazy. And that, from there, on, we just had to uh, yeah, it really go off. And every player kept pushing. I mean, the full box were really good. And everything everything was just on point, you know. I mean, everything was definitely on point. Like, well, what, what do you have to say to these guys? Mm, uh, let me start with Ali Boca. Because didn't speak about that. <laughs> oh, what did you say something? Yeah, but you, yeah, we hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm oh. starting with USP because I felt like we, we spoke about concentration. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the first half, there was the lack of the concentration again, like you said, that sometimes it happens. But tell me what was going through you guys' heads. What were you saying at a, as a half time? Because you were down by two goals to one. And you guys were comfortable because in that first half, I must say, you guys were like dominant in the whole of the game. But the five minutes lapse of concentration caused Boca Juniors to come back in the game. Tell me what was going through you guys' minds. What were you guys saying to each other to have that kind of second half performance that you guys put up?
I don't know. Did he hear him? SP3, did he hear him? Oh, you can hear, hear me now. Are they coming? SP3, can you, can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, we can hear you, but it seems right. like you can't hear me. But can you hear me? Yeah, the thing, the thing is echoing here, so I have to mute this one. Oh, are you watching the stream on the back or something? No, no, no. I think it's, it's the audio for Boca. Right, I've, you, I've you, muted Boca. Let, let me, let me, let me pick yeah. Boca Junior's question and then try to try to correct it and then we'll come back to you. All right. All right, so um, my from Boca, I think the start of the game, um, definitely Isaac did speak about the penalty miss, which could have derailed you guys. But I like what I saw because you guys came back and it's leading in that first half. What just went wrong in that second half? Because I honestly, I, I don't have any explanations for it. Do you have any explanations for what just broke you guys down? Oh, for the explanation, we have to do that back in our camp and then fix our mistakes. But then we can't just bring what we've noticed online so mm. it can be just out there for people to just work on that we realized what went wrong and then i'm sure with the subsequent matches we are going to work on that mm, so i hope this one hasn't killed the room at all oh no 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 not at all no, no, not at all mm -hmm. we are the leaders that's, of the group and then we are not going to give it up just without a fight Mm, okay, okay. We, we we hope it doesn't kill the film. But my friend, SPT, can you can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was speaking about um loss of concentration, like we did talk about like pre -bef before the game. And it kind of happened a bit in the final moment of that first half because you guys were leading dominant and all, and then at the final moment, Boca Juniors took the lead. What did you guys say to each other in that half time? Like, what what do you guys say to each other for you to have that kind of second half performance? Because that's the best half of FC twenty four action we've seen on the Ghana Pro Clubs League. Yeah, I mean, the moment we scored the second goal, I mean, the first goal, they were like, they were, they were so lucky because. The goalkeeper yeah. wasn't supposed to come out of it. It was supposed to be mm -hmm. a goal kick. Then apparently the goalie came out and yeah, they had a rebound. And the second goal too was also a rebound. That was when the team got a bit frustrated. We were a bit shaky. But then since we promised ourselves that we're going to have a better game, we need to keep uh, we need to keep the composure and keep playing. I mean, uh, they really had us in the first half. Previously, we would have been so scared out of our minds. We would have, we would have messed the whole thing. But we kept our shape, we kept the composure. We made sure that we we'll play very well. For then, I mean, we caught them by surprise with the, second, the equalizer. That was when the motivation came up, and everything was just. From there on. Yeah, it was it was beautiful, and I, I can't get the, the videos of those goals out of my head. But Charlie, congratulations on the win. Boca Juniors, we hope you guys bounce back soon. <laughs> and it's like, more before they go, of all the goals, which one would you say is your favorite? Because we have we get to choose the Motherland Gaming yeah. goal of the day. Which one would you choose oh. to be your favorite? <laughs> um possibly, I think the fourth or fifth goal. There were a lot of crosses, so I don't want to choose a cross, but where i think three runners made made the run it kind of confused the poker defense they loved it over the top and the whole defense was just confused because one runner was able to get behind everybody and then they just played that square pass it was just complete football total football caught everybody by surprise mm. and that's my favorite goal of the day i think i've seen that goal we can have a look at that goal and then maybe sp3 can uh, tell us what what's going on here what what, what we're doing at that point <laughs> So, so yeah, um, action starts there yeah, in the heat of the moment. So it was 2-2, actually, with oh, ah, the pass comes beautiful. over the top. And everybody's just confused. Lasso plays it into him. So you see the two runners there. And then from the middle, Lasso, from nowhere, the defense just Look didn't find Look at that decoy run. Oh, my God. He just snuck behind everybody. Everybody. No one could see him. And credit to Odin, too. Because he made the finish a lot more simpler. Because if Odin is not there, then the pressure is on Lasso to find the finish. Maybe first time finish or the ball roll or the, the short cancel to beat the goalkeeper. But uh, uh, Mama for SPT, is that something you guys work on? Like send a lot of runs to confuse the defenders? 
yeah, we we are an attacking team. But then that run from last two, honestly, I didn't even see that coming. Because <laughs> I was so lost in the moment. Eh? I, they called me on the offside trap. And I was I was so frustrated because I didn't have my attacking list. But then from behind, Lasso was just coming. And he just called a pass from the winger. And that was, that was it. I just thought I should follow him. Yeah, was because one. since he's on side, I told the best person to finish the goal with. I was so lost in the moment. So was how how do you call those people? I mean <laughs> he saw, he saw, he saw, he saw the game. It was like he was seeing he saw the the he saw yeah. it, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. I was like. It was just crazy. Very unfortunate yeah, for yeah, Boca yeah. Juniors. I think that they played such a high line. I think they were trying to go for an equalizer and that they got caught in a counter. And hopefully it's something that they go back into the adjoin balls to try and mitigate those situations because they are an attacking side. They are the leaders of the league. They want to play dominant football, so they are very susceptible mm -hmm. to probably push a bit further up the pitch. And so that leaves a lot of room behind them. And so that's something that Boca Juniors, I do believe that you'll be watching. In, in your camp. Booker, did you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as I said, um, tactical wise, um, there was a mistake over there. And then that's what we are hoping to improve. So Whatever it is, um, next match we decide whether we were able to capitalize on working on our mistakes or repeating the same mistake. That's what we are going to see. Okay, big ups to you there, my man, and big ups to you, SP3. Find out where's SP3 before you go and then find out where's for Boca Junior. Start with SP3. Uh, I mean, it was a good game. We it was it was a really good game. But Boca, we have the this connection with them so yeah it goes far hey. it <laughs> it's just yeah yeah boy it was a really good game right? yeah it was oh yeah it was a good game what could you do the last way see your fans as well before you take a leave um i just want them to know that um it's not over we are just in the middle of the season this should just keep calm compose we are going to do what we do gonna do what you do best thank you so very much guys for joining me here on Marvel Line gaming television and uh have a wonderful evening thank you so very much for the games indeed thanks for having us thank you okay hmm. Slimo, what do you think <laughs> ah the gpl yeah, yeah, yeah. is coming out with some <laughs> incredible games isn't it yeah 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 we, we, we couldn't have asked for anything else we couldn't have asked for anything more i know as fans and then as people who are watching from 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 the back we, we can sometimes be greedy and be asking for a lot but these guys have given us everything these two teams have given us everything and i'm just privileged to be here congratulations to sp3 on getting the win and i know Boca juniors they've got mentality the mentality of league leaders because if they didn't have it they won't be topping the league at this point and i'm expecting them to also bounce back in their next game but that's what the ghana pro class league is all about and hopefully we get more of this action hopefully we definitely do get more of this action smash the like button subscribe to the channel ladies and gentlemen in two days time we're going to be here for match day 13 that is incredible slimo this particular stream is brought to you by ghana pro class vpg marvel and gaming television ultimate battle vga esports show esports association of ghana and our grow esports this has been the gpl season two match day 12 slimo last one see your fans and to the stream before we sign off yeah um thank you everybody for joining the stream again i hope you did enjoy it this time if you missed out please if someone missed out someone who has been watching consistently and missed out kindly send them the link because this game possibly the best game of the season and there's more to come from us spt and boca juniors definitely gave us a showdown but finally thank you guys again for supporting and keep subscribing to the channel if you haven't already leave a like on the videos we'll catch you on possibly thursday where we'll have match day 13 and there's more fireworks coming absolutely have a good good evening guys catch you guys soon
cheese on a Sunday. Got the money on my mind on a Monday. I like a pretty girl on Tuesday. I know more vibes with the guys on a Wednesday. Until the next day, I'm on a late till Friday. I'm a never catch a sleep me my reach. 3.706, me cast it. Boy, them never ever reach. I'm coming with the game like a hunter. Never surrender. Carry on my top, pack up your stuff. Ooh, me then that. My no my matter. Working the night and day. Into my shots, oh. Your vibes with the Mako, sa. I say why you're in a po. I say when you're on that one cho. Red, I want cho. Don't take it personal, man no be gentleman, I'm going international, this thing no be personal, don't take it personal, man no be gentleman, I'm going international. It's a party, big link anytime with the jay. Boy, don't violate. I have a consumer, the body shape, the bada bada. In the night, she do working for the bulla. She love a bad man with the big gotta wala. Big man thing with the sick guy, he acts why. She no be messing with the other guys. I see up a day, I see up a fry. Follow with the friends and live a life. She want to be my wife, Miss no me a guy. So all I know I am a lie. Money on my mind and in the full right. Stuck up the block and live life. Live life. Don't take it personal, man. No be gentleman. I'm going international. 